Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Joe. You ready to do this? I am. Let's go. Let's do this. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Good morning, Ray. You're holding the door for us. Thank you. Hey, let's Ray. Get, let's get the show started. Let's go. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Joe. And welcome to What's, What's Happening. Happenin'? Today we're going to share an app called Crayola Ruckus Reader. It's part of our uh, part of the apps that we use for our TLI mm -hmm. Grant Texas Literacy Initiative for K through two iPads. Um, initially, uh, this app we found to be quite useful and definitely includes some interactive stories that we can use with our students. So first, what kind of teaks are we covering when we use this app with our students? Well, for K, uh, kinder and first grade, that they can read text, hold a, a book upright, turn the pages, and that they know that reading is happening from left to right, top to bottom. And also that there is a reading connection, F, in which you can make connections to your own experiences. And I'll share how we can do that with the first book that comes for free with Crayola Ruckus Reader. So let's go ahead and get started with that app. Now when you open up the app, it looks just like this. Um, initially, we kind of thought, wow, there's not a whole lot going on here. We're going to have to purchase additional books in order to enjoy this app. But we were wrong, right? And you'll notice there on that bookshelf, it's trying to get you to purchase some things. But if you're going to work with students using this app, what you really want to do is look on the very bottom of the app for that backpack that says kids. And we'll make it so it's less confusing, OK? So we'll click on that. And here we go. We have a bookshelf for your students with the one free book so that they're not going to be tempted to click on other books. You'll notice that book is called Picture Day, and on the bottom right of that book, it says L2, Level mm -hmm. 2 for your beginning readers. If it had said L1, it would be for your emerg uh, mm -hmm. emerging readers, and L3 would be for your independent readers. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the book so I can read this book. OK, so here we are inside of the book, the storybook. You have a couple options there on the bottom. And you'll see one is to turn the narration on and off. I would recommend leaving it on for your kinder or first grade student if they're reading this story. Um, it does highlight the words, and it is written, uh, read excuse me, by a student. You notice you also have create a story and read a save story. The save story is going to be the story that the students kind of created as they were reading this one. So we're going to go ahead and click on create a story. And you'll notice that read a save story won't, won't be accessible until the kids actually create a story. So let's create a story. As you read the story, see if you can find these objects hidden in the pictures. When you spot one, tap it and you'll win a word. What's nice about this is they are also looking for some pictures, which we want them to do while they're reading, looking for some pictures um, as an activity as they're going through the book. Today is picture day at the zoo. But where are all the animals? Okay, so you notice that each word was highlighted. Of course, we're going left to right, reading the story. Um, on the very bottom, you'll notice that there is an arrow. Getting some notifications there. There is an arrow <laughs> on the very bottom. Okay, I don't want all of these extra notifications. There we go. Okay, that has never happened before. <laughs> okay, hopefully we're finished now. On the very bottom right, you see an arrow so that we can swipe and go to the next page. Mm -hmm. Elephant steps out of the shower. I am almost ready, he says. I just need something to wear. I'm thinking it must be um, Dr. Seuss's birthday or something. All of those notifications yes. popping up. <laughs> Coincidence? I think not. All right, so it continues to read the story. Well, this is different than a regular ebook or um, iBook because in this case, it's just going to be a little interactive part coming up next that we get to create the story. Tap the object you want to pick. So what, what should, should the elephant, elephant wear, wear, Joe? Let's give him a... <laughs> a bow tie. A bow tie, okay. So the elephant's going to wear a bow tie. Tap a crayon I get to, create to pick this a part color. The story. Then tap the object to color it. Tap the... Color the bow tie. I think I'm going to go with an orange bow tie. Nice. There we go. I get to color the bow and go on to the next part of the story. Look for a sparkle and tap it. A picture will pop up. Listen to the word for that picture. Can you find that word in the story? Tap it and you'll win a word. Yay! Look, he says, my orange bow tie. 
is on top of the shelf. So of course you wait for the sparkle, and this is the last page we'll share with you. And I can go ahead and click on the sparkle. Bow tie. And I earned that word, bow tie. Okay, so moving on with this story, you'll notice on the very bottom, uh, in the center, there's another arrow with a couple other options. And of course, one of them is the how-to, if I'm not sure how to use this book. There's the ABCD collection, which is the interactive portion. And in this case, at the end of the story, it also takes you here, where they can drag the different um, attire to mm -hmm. each of the animals at the zoo that are taking a picture. Um, so it's a nice little interactive game. There's, of course, repeat, if I want to reread the words on that page. And then there's on, off, if I want to go ahead and turn off the audio so I can read it all on my own. So this book comes with a lot of little in interesting features, mm -hmm. some interactivity, and of course it's a, it's a very enjoyable book. So I would use this again for class picture day, and this is a great free book in your Crayola Ruckus Reader. Um, as going through this app, Joe and I found that there are more free books, and we wanted to share that with you, and they're not as obvious. So Joe's going to connect now to Reflector, and I'm going to disconnect. We're going to share some other things we learned about this app. Yeah, and um, I need to share this with you because this is really important. When you tap onto that app, that Crayola Ruckus Reader, and it's not really Crayola, it's actually the Ruckus Reader, and there's different companies that create their own bookshelves. And when you see, for example, when, right now, when you, when you first launch into the Crayola Ruckus Reader, you see all of, all of the books that are made by Crayola. But if you go to the store, you're going to see other books that have their own bookshelves, their own Ruckus Reader shelves. For example, uh, My Little Pony, The Transformers. And, and notice when you look at the store, it'll say level two, level one, depending on the type of books, right? But when you download those free books, by the way, there's a bunch of free ones, okay, which is awesome. I'm excited because, I mean, <laughs> Uh, it looks like the first book in the series is free, free for each of the shelves. And then you can buy the additional books for $4 a piece or $6 for both. And it is the full book, not four pages of the book, the full interactive book. So I'm going to go ahead and hit my home button to get out of here, get out of the app, so I can, so I can show you something. Well, yeah, I wanted to say, though, right there where it said Get Book had the link. If you were to click on that, that would actually take you to the iTunes store, the app, app store, excuse me, yeah. so that you could actually download that book. And, and I'll, I'll show you that. I'll show you that. So when you go to the store, right, what Kevin was mentioning is when I hit the store and I find a book here, say, oh, my God, I want, I want the Rabbit Ears bookshelf, right, with Pickles Bill. I hit the Get It button. At this point, it takes me straight to the app store, mm -hmm. right? And it's a free one which is awesome, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to buy it right now, but uh, see, you can see right, right there, you can see the free button already there, so I can hit the free and download it, but when you hit, when you, when you install it and download it, it's going to put it on your home screen, and so if you see right now on my uh, home screen on my computer, you see that I have one, two, three, four, five, six different books, free books, through the Ruckus uh, Reader, so I have the Dino Dan, the Chuck and Friends, these are different bookshelves. Mm -hmm. But what's cool about them is that no matter what bookshelf you're in, you can access the other bookshelves. They're kind of independent, but yet collaborating with each other. So for example, when I go to Crayola, right? Go to Crayola. This is the one that Karen introduced right now. And if I go to the backpack on the bottom left-hand corner where it says kids, I go down there. And you notice that the, 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 the apps you saw on the, on the home screen, those free books are also loaded on the very top. So I can go to picture day. But say, uh, say this time they're doing something on science on sharks or fishes, <laughs> right? You can make that awesome connection and go to, to the SeaWorld bookshelf. And I got the free, the free um, book on, on sharks. And, and they all work with each other. It's really nice. And I was actually, I started reading this one and I was actually kind of hooked because this is kind of informative. It's kind of awesome. And so same setup as the other book. The only difference that I kind of want to share is that when we actually went into the read now for these additional books, a lot of them had the feature to turn on and off, right, the narration, but also to record the narration as well. And that's one that we didn't see in the Crayola book that we thought, wow, we love that. You can record your own voice. So some great things and also some interactive kind of games for checking in between and an interactive game usually towards the end. So each of these books are, are I just think they're wonderful. 
Yeah, and then the recording of the of your voice, right? And especially for those kids that are having trouble like reading, or the kids are learning a new language, they're learning English for the first time. Uh, they can read the books. They can go with the level ones, and record their voices, and then replay the the story hearing their own voice. You know, they can they can hear themselves read. Um, but yeah, I think this is really, really awesome. Uh, I know uh, for the uh, for our district, uh, they might be restricted to just the Crayola one. But uh, if your iPads are not restricted, I mean, you have the option of downloading all these free ones for your students or your kids at home. Mm -hmm. Yay! And lastly, I know I shared with the teaks. They were they were they were good teaks for K through one. But there's also lots of teaks that will be addressed if you use these for your second, third, fourth, and fifth grade students as well. Um, of course, I think this is more for our, our maybe lower grade students, but um, at, when looking at the TEKS, you could be covering the title, different parts of the book. You could also cover a summary after they've read the book. You could have them talk a little bit about the author's purpose of the book. So a lot of just reading these stories could be tied to other TEKS that are being taught throughout the school year in your classroom. And see, and we are always trying to find free. <laughs> we found some free, so I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Thanks. Classroom map would look something similar to this. Uh, yes, several pieces of food, right?